Hello chemists and welcome to Bale's Chemistry. This episode follows on from calculating Kc and is the AQA topic 1.6 Equilibria, the Steyer's Principle and Kc. In this episode I'm going to show you how to quickly work out the units of the equilibrium constant Kc. And if you haven't already, click subscribe, I'd really appreciate it as it helps the channel to grow. A quick reminder then, the equilibrium constant is calculated by dividing the concentration of the products by the concentration of the reactants. The value of Kc indicates the equilibrium position and lets us know if we'll have more products or more reactants in the final mixture. For more on this, click the card at the top or the link in the description below. When we look at the Kc expression, we can see that all values are concentrations. This is why they're contained within square brackets and they have the units moles per decimeter cubed. So if we take the Kc expression for the reaction with hydrogen with iodine to form hydrogen iodide, we have the concentration of Hi squared on the top and the concentrations of hydrogen and iodine on the bottom. If we look at the units of these values, we can place them in the equation like this. We have two sets of units for concentration on the top. This comes from the Hi squared. And we have two units for concentration on the bottom, and this comes from the concentration of hydrogen and the concentration of iodine. Once we have those units in the equation, it's possible to cancel them out and be left with the overall unit for Kc. In this situation, there's an equal number on the top as there is on the bottom, so that all the units cancel, leaving us with no actual units for Kc. In this example, we can cancel out one set of units from the top and one set of units from the bottom, just leaving us behind with moles per decimeter cubed. This is a slightly more complicated example, and in this case, one set of units from the top cancels with one set from the bottom, but we're left with a set of units on the bottom of the equation. We can move this up to the top line, and in doing so, we change the moles to be minus one, decimeters to be the power of minus three. In this final example then, after cancelling the units, we're left with two sets of units on the top row. We can combine these by adding their powers to give moles to the power of 2 and decimeters to the power of minus 6. Okay, so in summary then, we should have looked at all the possible examples for Kc units. The first thing to remember then is that Kc is calculated by dividing the concentrations of the products by the concentrations of the reactants. To calculate the units, place them into the Kc expression. And then you can use that expression to cancel out the ones that are common on the top row and on the bottom row. If you end up with two sets of units on the same line, you can add those powers together to combine the units. And if you end up with a set of units underneath the line, you can move that set of units up onto the top line. And when you do this, you change the sign on the powers. Thanks, chemists, for watching this episode of Bale's Chemistry on Equilibrium. You can click here for more of my Equilibrium videos or you can click down here to subscribe to the channel.